So for Tokyo TDC 2020, the recipient of the TDC award is Mr. Yui Takada with a work called Ichinichi Hitohana, One Flower, One Day, which was shown at the Beijing exhibition. After the presentation, the design journalist Chiharu Warabe will also be sharing with us the message. Hello, everybody. Is everybody on? My name is Takara Hideaki. I have been in graphic design and also I study. I am a faculty member at the Tokyo Design University and I also work in the printing business and I also am in charge of some music labels. So I do a lot of things. And this time it is the first time for me to receive this TDC award and I am very happy. And in front of me I see empty seats in this auditorium and it's kind of sad but um, today um, well, I would like to t talk briefly about the design that uh, I received the award for uh, before I used to be indulged on client-based work so the client would call on me with requests and I will provide the work in return. This is the kind of business I have been doing for the past several decade or so and I uh, kind of overlooked what I myself would like to do as a creator. So uh, I wanted to indulge myself more in expression and also to engage myself in designing itself. When I was an art student, I used to do a lot of expressions personally. But um, after I got a job and I became independent economic economically, uh, it became the norm for me as a business model to simply respond to the request given to me by others. And um, I kind of overlooked the uh, the talent or the need to, or the want, the desire to express things that was innately inside me. And I uh, did not take care of that kind of feeling that I had inside me. And so just these past several years, I started to think it over and I wanted to address the issue of facing my own interests. And in 2017, I had my own ex individual expression exhibition in Tokyo and I started thinking of endeavoring to have similar exhibitions overseas. And I was able to have an exhibition in Beijing, China. And I wanted to make use of the opportunity to uh, feed me with more inputs for creativity using that kind of occasion. And uh, the work that I received the award for is one of those uh, works that I was simply working on. So if I can uh, just share with you this uh, slide. So uh, this is what it says, konnichiwa, or hello in Japanese. I did not make this for today's presentation, but uh, this is a reflection of the pattern that I have been formulating innately in me and I became bored with those kind of uh, patterns. So in this Beijing exhibition, when the date was fixed, I was wondering what should I do, what should I create? And I sat in front of my computer and I was uh, thinking about it and I found a very weird button and in this function key, there was an inside the Illustrator software, there was this 3D function feature button. And I was uh, wondering, hey, what is this? And I just pressed it to see what happens, and it rotated. And uh, I have always been curious as to how much a thought can go into a piece of paper and uh, I wanted to create something that was three-dimensional although it is in fact two-dimensional so I wanted to have something that had some depth and that was the goal that I had in myself 
And I just wondered, well, gee, this is a very simple thing. I just press this button, and I can create uh, something along these lines. And I was very shocked. Maybe some of you are familiar with this uh, button. But uh, I uh, was not really used to these kinds of keys, and I am a bit afraid of pressing buttons that I do not know. So I had the courage to press this unknown button, and it opened up a whole new uh, horizon for me. And I thought, hey, this is it for me. So I would like to bring this to the Beijing exhibition. And I really got excited. And uh, so this is what I wanted to really test myself using this kind of uh, function. So I was thinking of posters and flyers and all the other designs. Well, basically, these are paper media, but... Uh, uh, so I decided to use this methodology, and uh, I wanted something more because it sounded really dry and a bit uninteresting. Um, it was interesting at surface, but it did not have enough. So I really observed myself deeply inside, and I, uh, I really love flowers. And in the Takada family, at the home that I grew up, uh, they have a lot of flower uh, work. And uh, in my family, uh, before I became economically independent, it was just a part of daily normal life for me in the Takada family to see flowers. But once I left my home, and I realized I did not have flowers in my own room now, and I felt a bit sad. And uh, I realized how much the flowers have been influencing me in my daily life at home. So recently, after that experience, I uh, tend to stop by at the local florist off and on, and I would buy some flowers and I would uh, uh, put the flowers in my room and also in my workplace as well. So when I come to the office, uh, this is something that I have been doing recently, but you know, you have these uh, nice uh, spring flowers and I would just stop and take pictures. And uh, I thought, well, maybe with the flowers, maybe I can use this with this rotating function and uh, create something. And uh, so this is where I really got myself started. And it was exactly about one year ago when I got started on this uh, type of expression. And I have been really into this thing. And Every day I would create one thing, that was my uh, rule, and so I would make sure to make something, at least one thing a day, although I could not really meet my goal exactly, but anyway, I was pacing myself that I would have one thing created every day, and I have been using a lot of the 3D uh, rotating function. So these are the kind of uh, endeavors that I have been involved in for the past several months. And uh, Mr. Ken Shimura, the famous comedian, died because of COVID-19. And he was born in the Showa period, or it may be for even people in the Heisei period. But if you uh, look at this image of the flower, you might remember him. And uh, basically, I get bored with things very uh, uh, quickly. So I would like to uh, put in a lot of changes, and I would like to create many things. And for some items, you would ask yourself, hey, is this a flower? Is this just a leaf? Um, so I, I try to test a, a lot of things so that I could eventually find something that I am satisfied with. And sometimes I would dim, uh, and I would use a lot of these uh, special functions, and I would try them all out and try to put them all together, and that is what I continue to do to this day.
And uh, so you see a green stem, and if you if you uh, see something at the tip of it, it would look like a flower. And this is what I created. And uh, well, every day, as you go along your normal life, uh, there are things that really come to your attention. You might think of somebody else. And so anything that would capture your attention, I would bring them to the table and use this rotating function and try to create something new from these inspirations. So there are really a lot of things that I have been showing. And I also have an Instagram. So if you would like to take some more time looking at it more carefully, please do uh, look at my Instagram. And now going back to my original story. So, uh, so the expression was held the exhibition was in Beijing, not in Tokyo. And so I created a poster like this one. And I also created flyers like these. So this is a gallery at Beijing. In Beijing, there are many schools where students learn about art. And many young people came to my exhibition. Lu Keijin supervised this gallery. This is similar to Takeo exhibition. Paper is also sold at this gallery. So this is also serving as a store, just like a Takeo in Japan. And at the Beijing exhibition, I presented our past works and like this, I presented those exhibits also. And I normally work on triangle paintings and posted them on the wall. And I had one room, a corner, with flowers, separate from other exhibitions, exhibits. So there was a uh, system that I have uh, additional flower every day. So I went to went back to Japan, but uh, with the help from the pers people at the gallery. During the period of exhibition, every day there was one flower added. And at the last day, the room was filled with flower. So that was a space I created with a collaboration with the gallery. And uh, in parallel with the uh, exhibition, there were talking sessions. I visited the uh, Central Art School together with the uh, Mr. Nakamura and others. We had a talk session. And lately, like those flowers, I present on the monitor. And uh, in Beijing also, I was asked, can't I buy this picture? So I lately do sell the flowers, printing them on the paper. So, well, actually, on the net, you can purchase the flowers. All right, hyphen, when we say dot com is a URL, so you can search for the store. Every week on Sunday from 10 to 6 p.m., that's the uh, limited time where we're selling the product. 
is not that even though this is online store, we didn't make it convenient so that the uh, purchaser can buy any time. We uh, intentionally made this this inconvenience. So Sunday is a day you can purchase. So maybe I can just close my talk like this. I think I finished everything. Well, actually, I still have some time. I'm not doing this well. You can see this right on your screen. Very easy, the work I do. When I found this function, I was really surprised. So I've been playing with this function a long time. Not just a rotating body, you can use different functions like extraction. The more you play with it, I feel like I can do something more interesting using this kind of simple functions. We could come up with an interesting scenery being created. That's what I've been thinking every day, and I'm trying to explore the possibilities. Just like this. Thinking about the balance, to try to find where something new or something unusual can be found. Again, exploration. Well, this is not getting beautiful, but this is how I work. Well, I was really happy to have received this award. I released myself, and I freed myself. And maybe I was out of balance, but I was recognized and receiving an award, which made me happy to have someone who recognized that way. The graphic in Japan is becoming very more beautiful, more flat, more clean. That was a history. But maybe a person like me, with some imbalance, could be in the scenery. It is important for us to respond to the orders of other customers or clients, but given today's situation, maybe facing more with real ourselves, 
and finding how we can be excited or moved may be good. Maybe some people who left uh, left us left at us, but maybe by trying to find our own self, we could find more people recognize ourselves. And I like to see our society becoming more like that. And thank you very much. My name is Chiharu Watabe. A good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And congratulations, Takara-san, for your award. And with uh, Mr. Takara, I am a, a core, a, I am a fellow faculty member at the university, and we work together in a lot of things. But the biggest project that I recall working together with him was this uh, exhibition in Taiwan and China. And he met with uh, Ms. Mai Hojo, who is the CEO of All Right, and we worked together in the planning of this event. And the, receive, the work that received the award was called Ichinichi Hitohana, One Flower a Day. And I would like to talk briefly about this. And this exhibition was something that started in Taiwan in 2018 and then moved on to Taichung and Shanghai. And this was the overseas individual exhibit for Takada-san. And it took place in Beijing in 2019. And the organizer was the same organizer as Shanghai, a company called New Design Exhibition Project. And the, there were two very young people who really planned this out. And the TDC award is, of course, a Japanese award. But when this work was created and was seen, not in Japan, but in China, and that is something that I really focused on. I think this is something that is meaningful. As all of you know, the young uh, emer and, and uh, growing Chinese designers and artists, they really are able to absorb a lot of new things incomparable to the Japanese counterparts. And uh, they mainly communicate and share information through their smartphones in a very quick manner. But if you go there, actually many people come physically come to the exhibition and you see their passion. You see the long queues to go, go into the venues and you really feel the heat and they are really hungry for all these kinds of new uh, elements and information. And this is something that we no longer see in Japanese exhibitions, especially in the design and design design related exhibitions. And the work that received the award, the Ichinichi Hitohana, the graphic of it is very vivid and has very stable colors. And also, uh, the typography is somewhat complicated and a bit difficult to read. And also, they, he uses the function called the rotation function of the illustrator. And so this is something that looks almost three-dimensional. And so you can see the shape of the flower in a very unique way. And so uh, this has many, many elements. And so actually, Takara-san is not really doing anything very complicated. But as first thought, you think, what is this? And it has this really strange impression. And also, it kind of urges you to want to read or to figure out what it means. And Takara-san has been looking at the, uh, the amateur work that he finds on the streets. And he is wondering, why do they seem to be more powerful than the creations by, made by professionals? That is the question he has been asking. And in this Ichinichi Hitohana graphic, you can actually see how his observations are reflected in these works. So whatever he sees, he is really seamless in looking at things and then capturing the flow and figuring out the spaces in between. And he is really good at figuring out those things. And he has the basic techniques of the graphics, and he is able to create a bold and very vivid impression. So simply put, I think it is a stimulating graphic that he is able to create. 
and this stimulation, this strangeness, and this uh, inviting power of, that makes you want to, re to read is something that is really appealing to the younger Chinese artists today because they are really hungry for new elements. And Takara-san's works are really the best fit for the Chinese audience at this very date. And um, this might be an old example, but in the 1980s in Japan, I was still in my teens those days. But the graphics that really stimulated the youngsters at those times, we had many, many uh, works. And uh, what reminded me of Takara-san's works is, for example, Masayoshi Nakajo's Hanatsubaki, or the graphics that were created by Heikichi Harata in the 1980s are some examples that match this really vivid, strong impression left. And so those are what I would compare to Takata-san's works. And I really want to see a revival of the passion and the energy of those days and see a revival in Japan, which will come back to Japan through China. And I think that is something that Takara-san was able to contribute to. Thank you very much, Takara-san.